in this session let us try to understand about homopolar machine this is very popular interview question and let me tell you one thing 99 percent of the people doesn't know the answer for it okay anyway at the end of this discussion you will start appreciating small small things also kind of back to back connection okay back to back connection is a small pity thing okay one conductor will be there here back to back connection will be there one more conductor will be there here now if you focus on this back to back, -to -back connection of the conductor okay i can tell you one thing because of lack of back to back connection here okay basically for homopolar machine future of homopolar machine is decided by back to back connection okay because of existence of back to back connection heteropolar machine heteropolar is ns 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 poles will be there okay if you think of homopolar homopolar only one pole so everywhere my conductor should be under the influence of n pole only n pole only so conductor one conductor is under n pole one conductor is under s pole such things will not be there uh, means all conductor all the time should be influenced by north pole only or south pole only only one pole only that is homopolar okay basically we have to understand one thing we are engineers means that we are economists okay so if something economically if something is not allowed or if something is taking huge amount of money or huge amount of energies or huge amount of time huge amount of time we don't go ahead with it okay now if you think of this homopolar structure okay at the end you will understand why homopolar structure is not in practical existence now in our lifetime we cannot see homopolar machine at all okay because for homopolar machine existence is not there why that existence is not there back to back connection let us see let us see okay so this black is there black color black color is stator is stator and red is rotor red is rotor basically how this structure will be kind of i can say okay so this is kind of this this kind of this at the center also at the center also you are going to have stator only like this okay or kind of let me show you in another way see here with other thing okay so this is going to be outside this is going to be outside at the center at the center this is also stator only complete structure black he is going to be stator only so outside is stator at the center also you are going to have stator only so you understood this now cross sectional view cross sectional view if you see cross sectional view you are going to have this at the center this okay kind of e model you will get or not yes okay so kind of this is homopolar structure stator stator or if you see this cross sectional view you are going to get e connection no everything is stator only okay on top of that on top of that rotor will be there so kind of if this is stator this is stator on top of that my rotor will have cup structure cup structure rotor will rotate like this means this particular pen is stator on top of that my fingers are conductors so this is going to be rotor on top of this stator on top of this stator it is going to rotate okay with a cup structure cup structure so red is going to be rotor okay now see how flux path will be how flux path will be if you see this is n pole okay this is s pole this is n pole this is s pole okay from n to s flux will come from s to n flux will go back from n to s flux will come from s to n it will go back okay kind of kind of see here if this is the structure okay so if the so, yeah okay so if this is the structure okay everywhere is going to be n pole only this everything is n pole only this thing is going to be s pole both are at the center both are both are stator okay so from n pole from n pole flux will come towards the center s pole from center means back side connection is there no from center because for the magnetic flux what is a closed path is required that to with magnetic material okay so kind of like this see okay everywhere it is going to be n pole only everywhere this particular thing is n pole only center is going to be s pole only so if i see like this from n from top to the center flux will come from center from here it will go back it will go back okay here back connection will be there with the back connection flux will go back flux will go back okay kind of everywhere this is going to be n pole only everywhere this is going to be n pole only okay everywhere this is s pole only 
S pole only. Such that from N flux will come like this. From S flux will go back like this. Okay, it's a half sectional view or cross sectional view. So from N to S, N to S, all flux lines will come to the center. Okay, from the center flux will have the return path. Flux will have the return path. So this is homopolar structure. Now on top of this, if I keep conductors, on top of this, if I keep conductor. Okay, this is conductor. Okay, so at the center, this is stator. On top of that, this is going to be rotor. My fingers are my rotor conductors. Rotor conductors. So here, my rotor conductors will be there. Okay, try to have a small visualization. It is enough. You will be able to understand. Okay, now if I try to rotate this particular rotor in this direction. Okay, already we know one thing. What is that? Induced voltage in a conductor, not coiled here. Okay, already we know. Right? So, induced voltage in a conductor, in a conductor directly proportional to flux density. Okay? So, that flux density everywhere is going to be same. So, perfect DC you will get. You need not have commutator at all. You need not have commutator in order to convert from AC to DC. Okay? You need not have rectifier. The two, pure DC you will get. Pure DC you will get. Okay, because if you sit on this conductor and if you rotate yourself, means if you sit on this conductor and if you see top, that is N pole. <coughs> Everywhere, when the rotor is rotating, <coughs> when the rotor is rotating, if you sit on the conductor and observe the flux lines, everywhere flux will come or everywhere my conductor will be influenced by north pole only. Okay, so pure DC you will get or not? Yes, yes. Okay, so the two DC you will get. Then why we don't have homopolar machines into practical existence? Practical existence, let us see. Okay, now see here, focus here, all of you, please. Okay, see if I get induced voltage, yes, this is under N pole region, induced voltage of 3 volts. Induced voltage of 3 volts. Okay, now means here also same kind of voltage will be produced here because everywhere my all conductors are under the influence of. N pole only, N pole only, such that if I get plus minus 3 volts, here also plus minus 3 volts will be there. Okay, now how to tap the voltage, how to tap the voltage, for example, if I keep back to back connection like this, and if I try to tap the voltage here, how much it will be minus 3 plus 3 would be 0. Okay, so in order to tap this voltage, if I connect from here to here, if I connect from here to here, and if I see how much voltage will come here. Okay, means if I connect from here to here and if I see how much voltage will it be, you will you get 6 volts? No, here also voltage will be induced. No, here also voltage will be induced. No, so kind of, of course, it will be less than 3, but let me consider. Okay, 3 volts. Under that condition, minus 3, plus 3, minus 3. So plus minus 3 volts only you will be able to tap. You will be able to tap. So this is not possible. This is not possible. Now, let us think of, let us have, okay. Thank God. Okay. Let us have individually, individually brushes. Okay. So if I keep this particular shaft length on this side or on this side. Okay. If I keep brush here. Okay. If I connect this brush here. If I connect this to this brush. And if I have one more brush here for this. If I have one more brush for this. For this. Okay, now externally means internally induced voltage is 3 volts only. This 3 volts given to the brushes. This 3 volts given to the brushes. Now, if I connect after the brushes, if I connect whatever the voltage we are going to get, if I connect all those voltages in series, in series, will I get 6 volts? No, I'm going to get 2 volts. Why? Because roughly voltage drop per brush is 1 volt. No. Okay, so for each conductor, if I keep one brush here, one volt is gone, one brush here, one volt is gone. So you will get two volts if you have four brushes. Now, if you have four brushes, you will get two volts. Okay, because I can say that significant amount of voltage drop will be there. Significant amount of voltage drop will be there in the brushes. Okay, already internally induced voltage is very less. Okay, three volts only per conductor. Now, if I want to, for example, two volts is there. Okay, for four brushes. If I want 200 volts, if I want 200 volts, 
400 brushes are required. So how much will be the length of the shaft? Length of the shaft will be very high. Length of the shaft will be very high. And already we know that what is the costliest part of the machine? Costliest part of the machine is shaft. Okay. So if you want to get uh, like our alternator, if you want to get 11 kV, 11 kV, for example, means kilometers wise, we should have the length of the shaft length of the shaft now let us see with heteropolar let us see with heteropolar this is heteropolar structure okay so with heteropolar structure my okay so my flux directions maybe if i think of n here if i think of s here okay so from n to n flux will go like this flux will travel like this from n to s flux will come like this flux will travel like this okay return path is there and whatever I have shown in black, in black is the rotor. Okay. So here N pole is there, S pole is there. Now, if I have one conductor, if I have one conductor from here to here. Okay. If I have one conductor from here to here, this part, this particular thing you will be able to easily visualize because multiple times we might have seen our machine in our machine lab or somewhere. Okay. Now, this is one conductor. This is one conductor. If I get in this particular conductor plus minus 3 volt. Okay. In this particular conductor, it will be plus. It will be plus minus 3 volts. No? Because it is under the influence of N pole. It is under the influence of S pole. S pole. Okay. So minus plus 3 volts. If you get the induced voltage there. Here plus minus will be the induced voltage. Because induced voltage will be reversed because that particular conductor is influ conductors are influenced by different poles. Okay. Now, if I have back to back connection here, back to back connection here, and if I try to tap the voltage here, voltage here, how much it will be? 6 volts. 6 volts. Meaning that, see, if I have just back to back connection like this. Okay. Here, I'm going to have, for example, this plus minus 3 volts and plus minus 3 volts now if i try to tap the voltage here this is going to be 6 volts okay now if i extend with many number of turns okay so let me think of again one more turn again one more turn again one more turn okay if i have 100 turns 100 turns how much will be the voltage 600 volts Okay, significant amount of voltages can be induced only with heteropolar. Why? Because of back to back connection. Okay, so basically we are using heteropolar. Heteropolar in the sense N, yes. Okay, so if you have maybe two or four poles, N will come, yes will come, N will come, yes will come. Okay, so if I have eight poles, maybe NS, 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 NS will come okay so this is kind of heteropolar structure okay with heteropolar with heteropolar we are able to produce significant amount of voltages because of presence of back to back connection very small thing very small thing but here if you observe okay in homopolar machine in homopolar machine what is the main problem back to back connection is the main problem okay if you keep on add uh, number of brushes number of brushes kilometers wide you should have the length of the shaft length of the shaft so we 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 never see homopolar machine in our life because economically it is not feasible to produce significant amount of voltages okay this is very important thing okay and why we are using heteropolar because of presence of back to back connection Okay, significant amount of voltages can be induced in heteropolar machine. That's why even though we say DC generator, in DC generator also, we don't use this. Okay, so if I use this pure DC, I will get, but we don't use this. Why? Economically, it is not feasible. So even in our DC generators also, homopolar machine, sorry, heteropolar only we use. And this particular induced voltage, AC induced voltage, we'll try to convert into DC by using commutator. Okay.